these football ornaments will be building my money. But I already strung the lights and I didn't check to make sure they work. Can you imagine a Christmas tree with no lights? So here is the first ornament that we're opening. Our first ornament is going to be exactly where I live with the Denver Broncos, which is perfect because we're going to be using these ornaments to decorate our NFL themed Christmas tree. Got an absolute budget slash a steal. We're going to get be able to get this 89 overall Steve Atwater strong safety for 65,000 coins and our first addition to build building this ornament team. The Broncos are actually one of the six teams that play on Christmas Day. And the other five are listed right here. If we pull all six of these teams by the time we're done pulling all our ornaments, I'll give away a jersey of your choice to a winner down below in the comments. Our next ornament here, it's going to be the Washington Commanders. Now, our goal with this team is to build an 88 overall, and we only have 6.3 million coins to do it. So we have to be very selective about the positions and teams that we're using. We're going to go with the 88 overall wide receiver, Terry McLaurin from the Commanders for 42,000 coins. And our wide receiver number three is Terry McLaurin. Ooh, this one's green. Ooh, there it is. The Philadelphia Eagles. I'm kind of tempted to go quarterback. Jalen Hurts has been absolutely killing it. But there's so many other positions that the Eagles have been doing so well in. We're going with one of the hardest hitters in the history of the NFL. Free safety, Brian Dawkins, aka Weapon X for 130,000 coins. And our free safety number one is Brian Dawkins. There's glitter all over it. It's worth it though. It's worth it for the video. The glitter is worth it. Ornament number four in our tree decorating journey here. Oh yeah, baby. It's gonna be the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are actually the second of our six teams that play on Christmas Day. We've already crossed two off the list. How do you not go with one of the goats, bro? For 165,000 coins, we found our starting halfback, Eric Dickerson. 91 overall. Next up on the list, I mean, there, dude, there's literally 32. All 32 of these ornaments. I'm so excited to see what this tree turns out like. Assuming that the lights actually work, it looks like we might actually have one of my bears, NFC North, opponent here. That's right. We've got the Minnesota Vikings. Okay, like I get it. It's the Vikings. There's a lot of exciting positions we could put in. People like Randy Moss. Oh, we just got a new card too. Dude, this card is a beast. But like, I want to add Justin Jefferson so bad. They're both so expensive. Why are they 500,000 coins? If this doesn't earn your subscription, I don't know what does. We're literally buying a 500,000 coin card right now as our wide receiver Randy Moss. Okay, this next one, I can kind of low-key see through it. We got the Kansas Kansas City Chiefs. The dude has scored like more touchdowns than Devontae Adams this year. Travis Kelsey has to have some crazy card, right? He does have a 91 overall card. 208,000 coins. We're adding Travis Kelsey as our tight end number one. Next up on the list, this one, I can't tell what it is at all, but I'm super excited to open it. Dude, these look so good. I mean, she did such a phenomenal job. Seriously, link in the description if you want to order some for yourself. There's other things on our site. I mean, this isn't sponsored, but oh man, this is another one of our Sunday Christmas games. Arizona Cardinals. Man, we have so many options with the Cardinals. They just have some beasts on their team. Means we're halfway done and we've opened like 10 of these ornaments. I feel like we're definitely going to be giving away a jersey this video. I feel like this dude plays like 17,000 positions and of course he got a new card. Of course it's like 400,000 coins and of course we're going to be buying him right now. 93 overall, Isaiah Simmons. We're literally down to 4.7 million already. Still some very important positions available on offense, including our entire offensive line and only three positions filled on defense. We've got a long way to go and many more ornaments to open. As we open up our next one here, oh my gosh, it's my team. It's my hometown team. I obviously don't have a Bears sweatshirt. I'm wearing a Cubs one. I'm clearly a Chicago fan and we just drew the Chicago Bears, baby. Okay, Bear with me on the pun too. Bear with me on the pun. This one's going front and center. I know obviously Fields has a crazy quarterback card. It's been going off and I want to leave the quarterback position open because I think it could be super fun. So we're going to pick up his 88 overall cornerback card and our cornerback number three is Justin Fields. I feel so weird to say. I know it makes no sense, but hey, this is just the game we're playing. Next one's kind of a teal color. Oh, this is one I was looking forward to. I, I kept position open on purpose as we have the Miami Dolphins. Of course, Tyreek Hill got a crazy card 
card for most feared. We're going to pick him up for 260,000 coins. And Tyreek Hill is our wide receiver number two. And the Dolphins are our fourth of six teams on our way to getting you guys a jersey. We're super close. Our next ornament up for the Houston Texans. I was expecting this one to be red, but dang, this looks good. Okay, we literally do not have like any offensive line yet. So I, I mean, Laramie Tunsil is like one of the best, right? And we can get it for 47,000 coins and an 88 overall. I mean, next question. And our first offensive lineman is Laramie Tunsil. Next up, I see more blue here. We got a little Jacksonville Jaguars action. Yeah, I'm sold. This card art is so sick. We're gonna go with the right guard. 90 overall, Brandon Scherf. I'm just like terrified of breaking these. They're so fragile, but so awesome. We got the Super Bowl appearance of the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's go. We're gonna go with an 88 overall, right end Trey Hendrickson. And our first defensive lineman is Trey Hendrickson. No Packers, no Bucks. I mean, I'm in the giving spirit for the holidays, but I'm not trying to give away a free jersey. This one is crispy, bro. We got the New England Patriots. So we still need some linebackers. We could go with the new Matthew Judon, or we go with literally the coach of the Titans. We're gonna go with Mike Vrabel. And he's gonna play our left outside linebacker. This looks so freaking good. Look at this blue, this baby blue. We got the LA Chargers. I don't even have to think about this one. We need a right outside linebacker. He's one of my favorite players ever. Maybe because I'm a Bears fan and I have huge bias, but it's Christmas time and sometimes we just need to indulge. We're going with right outside linebacker Khalil Mack. Five positions left on offense. Three of them on the offensive line and six positions left on defense. We still got a long way to go, but we've got a lot of coins and we are over our 88 overall goal. Next one up. This one looks like it's a little bit red. Oh no, this is another one on our list, bro. I mean, it looks beautiful, but that's five of six. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, but this is also like a super tough position to fill. We're picking up 89 overall fullback Mike Allstott. Our QB is still open. I don't know who we're going to end up getting, bro. We've already pulled some insane teams. Wrapped so nicely. Another blue one. This is the one I thought it was before. We got the New York Giants who are just rolling this year. I really hope these lights work because the tree's looking so good at the ornaments right now and I don't want it to be just a total flop. I don't even have to think twice about this. We're going with left end. 91 overall Michael Strahan. Guys, I'm telling you, once we get down to like no teams left, some of the position choices are not great. Our overall could drop extremely quickly. Another blue one. Oh, this one's kind of crispy too. We got the Dallas Cowboys, baby. I wasn't expecting that to be this kind of blue, but I kind of like it. Let's look at center. We're going to go with this guy. How do you say this guy's name? Tyler Viedes for 50K. He's going to be our starting center. Only three positions left on offense. One of them, the biggest one at quarterback and five defensive positions left with two cornerbacks. Next man up. Please don't be the Packers. It's not. It's the New Orleans Saints. But I feel like we're in good shape with this one. I gotta go with Tracy Porter. I mean, he's 330,000 coins. If I can't earn your subscription for that, I don't know what I can, but he's gonna end up being our cornerback number one. This is a green one. This could be the Packers. Oh, but I don't think it is. Oh, we're skating by on this one, baby. We got the New York Jets. Sauce Gardner's gotta have a crazy card, right? The overall for 125k is Sauce Gardner. Cornerback number two. Easy. Six positions left. This one's absolutely gorgeous. We got the Carolina Panthers. Oh my god, there's glitter everywhere, dude. The first thing that comes to mind with Carolina Panthers, it's gotta be like Luke Keekly, right? Uh lie to you, bro. That hair is not a good look. I'm surprised he got it all under the helmet. 92 overall, 330k. And our middle linebacker number two is Luke Keekley. Hey, okay, we're starting to like really need a good quarterback. Oh, this is not good, boys. This crosses it off our list. I owe you guys a jersey. Make sure you comment down below. We just pulled the Green Bay Packers. I'm putting this one on the back side of the tree. This one need to be seen. That's all six of the teams that are playing on Christmas Day officially checked off. I know what you're thinking. Get Aaron Rodgers on your team. I won't do it. I won't. As a Bears fan, I just simply can't. I'm going to take a much lesser option here. I'm going to take 84 overall Kenny Clark. That actually brought us down to an 89 overall. We're only one above our goal. Oh, this looks so good. Look at that. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, they've got to have some crazy defensive tackle. 91 overall Mean Joe Green. He's going to be our defensive tackle number one. Our defense is entirely filled out, meaning we only have three positions left on the offense. Luckily, our coins shouldn't be an issue, but our overall very well still could be if we get stuck with the wrong teams here. And I still don't even know if the tree's gonna light up. <laughs> 
ter terribly nerve-wracking decorating a tree and not even knowing if the lights work. Oh, another blue one. Oh, this is the one I've been looking for. The Buffalo Bills. You've got to guess which team we're filling out for this one. He's got to like have the best quarterback card in the game, right? Are you kidding? They've got no good left guard, no good right tackle, and Josh Allen hasn't gotten an upgrade all year? I mean, I want to add Josh Allen, but like 88 overall quarterback, we got to do better than that. Madden has to do better than that. We're going to go with 84 overall. David Questenberry is our right tackle. Number one. Let's see who's next. Ooh, that looks crispy. We got the Cleveland Browns. Kind of at the mercy of a left guard here. And thankfully, they have Joel Batonio. He's an 87 overall. It's not terrible. Might bring our overall down a little bit. But whoever we draw next is going to be our quarterback, no matter what team, which is kind of terrifying. Our final position, the most important in all of football, in all of Madden. And I basically have no say who it's going to be. No, no way. <gasps> This couldn't have worked out any better. We got the Baltimore Ravens, who has a literal former MVP quarterback. That couldn't have worked out any better. Let's go, baby. He's got a 91 overall Redux card for just 200000 That's a pretty good price for a, a Lamar Jackson record breaker. And our quarterback and captain is Lamar freaking Jackson. Okay, now for the moment of truth. I have no idea if these lights are going to work or not. We could have put together this entire tree throughout this video for literally just about nothing that would be so anticlimactic okay now it's dark moment of truth But if you like this team building video, you're going to love the video where I built a team using tiny football flags. Click up here. You don't want to miss it.